What to do? Later here. So, we got a new video of CJ the Champ. Sukuna is a dog, the most dis disrespectful moments in anime history. Five. <laughs> Let's go. So, he brings this man to the fight. So, then he says, All right, my boy, class is in session. Today, we will be learning how to beat an ass. What? I would like to thank our volunteer right here. Uh, I don't even know his name, but he will be used <laughs> as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we observe some of the most outrageous, most outlandish moments to ever be seen by the human eye. Oh, that just piece. make you look at the screen like, well, goddamn, what did they do to make them? Oh, what the, what the? So, without further ado, roll them. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, first up to the plate is Sukuna being a dog. So Itadori and Ushiguro are fighting this ugly ass boy. What the f is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. That is just ugly. So Itadori tells Fushiguro, I right, listen, bro. I'm Mad just gonna have to let that doll come out. So Sukuna I gotta let that dog like, come hey, out. What's good with you, cuz? So the oh. curse bags up and he's like, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Who is this thug ass? Nigga? So then he starts talking to him like, boy, I tell you, boy, you ugly as shit. You're supposed to be a fish, a barnacle nigga. So he jumps back and starts charging <laughs> up. Is that a Hadouken? So Brad shoots it, but he just stops it with one hand. Then he looks at him and says, You ugly lip motherfucker. Boy, I ought to beat your ass. So Brad just face planted him into the ground. Then he starts looking at him like, Damn, cuz the fade just started and your ass already on the ground. Nigga, you best get your sorry ass up. Yo, dog stepped on him. So then he tries to grab him, but he rips his arm off. Who said, damn boy, that gorilla grip done backfired on him. <laughs> gorilla Yo, he is grip. He is doing this. Yo, this man is a demon. Is that a dolphin laugh? He is continuing oh to God. torment this thing. The curse comes down and starts laughing at him. So then he starts looking at him like, Go, why you got that big ass grin on your face? You think shit is sweet or something? Goof ass boy, I'll show you what's sweet. So then he hits him with the <laughs> domain expansion. expansion. Boom. Got him on the face. <laughs> oh boy, turned this man into a fish fillet cooked well done. So then he says, all right, little nigga, you can come back out now. Hello, can you hear me, nigga? But then he gets no response, so he's like, <laughs> So about a minute later, he pops up right behind Fushi Girl. So he's like, what's good, cuz? Just to let you know, I'm about to beat your ass. But before I beat your ass, I'm going to eat this crusty ass finger. Mm, mm, mm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. No, no, don't do that. No, no, don't now, do that. Time to beat your ass. You. So Fushi Girl starts swinging, Weave? but look at this man. He is weaving Weave? all of his punches. Weave? His in his <laughs> oh, no, nah, bro. You know, is that literally just a sound bite of someone going weave? So he keeps on punching, so Sukuna's like, damn boy, you can't hear shit. Come on now, put your back into it. Oh, oh boy, gave him the backhand of the century. So Fushi Girl trying everything. He trying to jump him with the snake, the owl. He just eat it. Oh my god. So then he comes back down, grabs him, and he says, come on now, there's a whole world out there we gotta see, nigga. Yo, bro, shut his whole body. Hit him with the is Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> then bro starts playing ping pong with him. Boom! Bro said, come on now, get your sorry ass up. So as this man is flying through the buildings, the owl comes in and picks him up. He Casual. right behind him and he like, boy, that ugly ass knocked out. Set your ass down. <laughs> Good God, that beating didn't even make any sense. It didn't. It didn't. Just from beat this man for just for absolutely no reason at all. Oh my god, yo, this man is disgusting. Yeah, when the rest of this manga gets animated, homeboy is most definitely getting a full video. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. He's a menace. Next up a on true this menace. Is Gojo's PowerPoint presentation. PowerPoint oh, presentation. Go meet the principal. He tells the driver, yo, stop the car. So as the dude leaves, he says, Alright, you could come out now. So then this ugly ass boy come from the top rope. Then dog said, what's good, nigga? Get ready to be a back. <laughs> so he started throwing out everything. Bro threw some fat ass mosquitoes at him. He came from the side and made him Ghost Rider. And then he decided made to hit him, him with a gut check. So then after <laughs> all that, 
Bro is squeaky clean. He has taken no damage at all. So Volcano Head like, huh? What type of hacks you got? So then Gojo's like, you realize you cannot hit me, right? So then he says, come here. Don't be shy. Come a little closer. Touch my hand. So he tries to touch his hand, but he can't. So I was like, huh? The f*** is this? <laughs> so then Gojo's like, you feel that? This is called my infinity, a.k.a. my plot armor. So, do you want to know what you are, Infinity. buddy? Your fodder. Good God, bro. Gut check the life out of this man. Oh, the God. dog said, hold on, I ain't even done yet. Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> and you notice, like, and even says, his oh, blood really didn't even get to him. Even the touch him either. His blood didn't even <laughs> touch him face. either. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Dog said, I'm <laughs> flying. And look at him. He dragging that nigga down. I was like, get your bum ass out of my sight. Look at him. He dragging his dirty ass through the ground. And he tries to hit him with a gallic gun. Then he comes from behind and he's like, well, if you don't sit your goofy ass down. <laughs> oh my god, bro is gone. Petition for all our like, animes like, oh, to have these sounds. The perfect time. So this man leaves, goes and sees Itadori and he's like, yo. Mid fight. Mid fight. Me beat this Let you know. ass. So he brings this man to the fight. So then he says, all right, my boy, class is in session. Today we will be learning how to beat a nigga's ass 101. <laughs> I would like to thank our volunteer how right to beat here. A curse uh, ass. I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon? So then dog's like, you mother... F hey, stop playing with my name, nigga. So then Gojo's like, <laughs> your name? But you are weak. You're trash. No. Don't you half of the people that watch this show don't even know your name? <laughs> That's fair. I don't, I, I don't, don't, don't remember his yeah, name I don't either. Hold on, hold on, let's look at it real quick. <laughs> What's his name? Yeah, JJK, there we go. Jugo? Jogo? Jogo. Yeah, let's just go with Jugo. All I know is he looked like Squidward when he had the volcano on him. <laughs> but anyways, bro got pissed. He was like, stop playing with my name. So then he uses his domain expansion and he done turned this bitch into Bowser's castle. So then Gojo's like, all right, Yuji, pay close attention. So bro takes off the blindfold and hits him with the domain expansion beautiful good boy whoa za so like, oh, what is this pause but who is this beautiful ass nigga <laughs> he paused but who is this beautiful ass, ass person it sucks me ah. trust me i get it well actually i don't get it <laughs> i'm beautiful but uh, let me put you out of your misery Oh, if only Gojo was Bro, actually he just the savage. Ripped his head off with one hand. <laughs> with one and hand. to add to the disrespect, he stomped on his head. Like dog, the fact that he basically used this man as a punching bag to be an example after he just tried to sneak him and he left mid-fight. <laughs> Bro, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next moment is more JJK. This actually would have been a Jujutsu Kaisen special if the last one wasn't JJK. But anyways, Toto beating the absolute, absolute breaks off of Fushiguro. Oh, now, see, this moment isn't just oh, no, this the is best of friends. Most down bad horrendous moments to ever oof. exist. So Toto and Mai pull up and they talking mad sh. Mai said, "Heard your classmate died. Tell me, how hard did that pack hit?" So then Toto walks up to Fushi Girl and he says, Hey boy, what's your type? Depending on the answer that you give me will determine if I beat the shit out of you or not. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> this has to be one of the most wildest things I've ever heard come out of somebody's mouth. This is determined to run this man's fade if he does not like the exact <laughs> same girls that he likes. So then he's like, come on now, speak up. How you like him, nigga? I like him tall with a Fat ass boy. Come on now, I ain't waiting all day. So he's like, I right, uh as long as she has good character, she's a 10. <laughs> so then Toto's like, damn. I gotta man. kill you now. You got bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> so he blesses this man. Good God, the clothesline from hell. Then he walks up to him and says, I knew it. Just by first glance, <laughs> you a bitch ass nigga. You a so bitch. Mr. Girl pulls out these frogs, <laughs> but bro flash steps and takes them to Suplex City. Boom! So then he starts pummeling him. He's like, fight back, nigga. You got bad taste <laughs> and you sorry as hell. 
Anyone grabbing someone by the face, that's pretty disrespectful. Oh! <laughs> he, he messes up the foundation just to beat him. So as he's about to hit him again, Toge has to come and hit him with the chill out, chill out. Then Panda comes to me like, yo, what are y'all doing? Then Toto says, his taste is trash, let me beat his ass. But he's like, ah, forget it. Bars. Next time I see your bitch ass, your taste better change, boy. Yo, the fact well, that this man Toto change? almost beat this man Fushi Girl to death because his taste in woman is bad. Like, uh, what? Bro, basically took your waifu is trash to the extreme. Extreme, uh, yeah. I, I'm just at a loss for words. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Our final moment, probably if not one of the most disrespectful moments in anime history, Perfect Cell violating Vegeta. Oh my gosh! This We're going Dragon Ball. But you know what? First of oh all, these two no. buffoon ass niggas. Let's start off with this cocky <laughs> bastard. That Saiyan Pride really had to kick in in full gear, huh? Bro, he really got the McDonald's on his forehead. Oh, God. 18, and he was attacking Trunks, the only person with Who common sense during yeah. this entire moment. Yeah. God, dog, bro. You deserve to get your ass handed to you. Oh, and don't think I forgot about this bald bastard. You have <laughs> no, not job, But you got one little smooch, one little <laughs> puck on the cheek, and you was whipped into some cyborg coochie. Bro said, Fuck the earth, she bad as hell. <laughs> yeah, no the earth. I'm a sim. I'm a sim for so technology. <laughs> became perfect. Bro is just glorified by himself. Man, this is on narcissist level 100. And yeah, look at Vegeta, yeah. dumbass. Wow, he looks less intimidating. God, I thought we already learned this lesson with Freezer. <laughs> when they look less intimidating, true, true. they're strongest. Wouldn't we so think Vegeta would be like, you know what, man, maybe this guy's kind of bad. He might be crazy. Man's is like, wow, 18 really had feminine hands. Then Trump <laughs> came in and started attacking him, and he is still paying them <laughs> no attention at all. Then he ate the Destructo disc. Then he turns the around and he's like, so I don't remember that. Low, nigga? I then the Destructo disc. Look at him, he's skipping to him. Then he gets up in his face. Skip to my like, Lou, hit him with the ooh. Then bro breaks his neck oh. and he is out cold. And look at him, he's like, ugh, weak ass nigga. 16, oh. you wanna do something? Yeah, that's right. Stay your big ass right there. So then here comes Vegeta. So he's like, all right, I see you got that perfect jawline <laughs> and everything now. So you ready to scrap? Then Cell says, ugh. I guess you'll be a decent warm up. So Vegeta just starts throwing everything, but bro is just blocking it. Bro's like, my, my prince, you're gonna have to do a little more than that to make me try now. So then Vegeta hits him with this kick, and he's like, yeah, I did that. So I was just looking at him like, <laughs> really? Trash ass boy. So Vegeta's like, huh? What is this? And Cell's just laughing at him like, <laughs> And you came up with that corny ass name called Super Vegeta. Now let me show you how to throw a kick. So he kicks the oh. life out of this man. Look at him, he's flying through mountains. <laughs> and then he just falls into the ocean. So Cell just starts talking. He's like, wow, you was talking all that good shit a second ago. Now look at your sorry ass. So then Vegeta does personally my favorite attack in anime. He starts charging up the final flight. And Cell is just standing watching. there watching. He's watching. Him. Bro's looking at him like, man, you're putting on a great light show, buddy. This rival's Disney World's fireworks show. So then Vegeta just starts calling to him. Cell, you bitch ass. <laughs> fuck ass. <laughs> yeah. If you think you hot, <laughs> stay your ass right there. So Cell's like, I oblige. So then Vegeta hits him with the final flag. And look at me like, oh my god. Oh, oh this won't work? This actually over went through the stratosphere. Through the stratosphere. Still to this day, I wonder what poor planet did that blast end up? Yeah, it, it so destroyed something. Like, oh my god, he's done it! Father's done it! So he blew off half of Cell's chest. Half of Cell. Cell. Says, Ugh, he actually hit me, damn it! So Vegeta's like, yes, I did it! I am him! So while Vegeta keeps on laughing, <laughs> Cell says, stop laughing, damn it! Like for real, stop laughing. Wow. <laughs> oh 
my God, bro. It's just the look on his face that gets me every time. So it says, did you forget that I had Piccolo cells as well, you dummy? So then Vegeta just losing it. He just starts spamming key blasts. <laughs> He's about to start spamming key when blasts. Vegeta resorts to using this key. spam key blast move. Shit's about to go down. So Cell just walks through it and just through the key. Oh. So he kicks oh. him to high heaven and hits him with the spike. Yikes. Oh, winner is I went to college. <laughs> Grass. <laughs> That was the most disrespectful moments in anime history. <laughs> I must say, in my opinion, the Gojo one is by far one of the most disrespectful things I've seen in a minute. <laughs> I could either add him now or wait till the next arc gets animated, which I've already read, by the way. Probably, so we'll probably wait for the next arc. Platform. Probably wait for the Hope next arc. Enjoyed. Make sure to sub to the second channel. Follow you on IG and Twitter, and uh, I am out of here. Oh my god. Crazy video. <laughs> CJ, you son bitch. Did it again.